are seeing at least a couple of winter storms that have brought some snowfall to the state, which is certainly some good news. We've had a couple of decent storms that didn't look impressive right off the bat, but then did deliver some pretty hefty snowfall numbers. Here's where we are for snowpack compared to last year and all across the board, at least for the northern portion of the state and in southern Colorado, we are doing much better than last year. In fact, last year we had nothing on the ground at this point. Now we have 20 inches up at Wolf Creek. We have nine inches at the Hopewell site in the San Juans of New Mexico, Taos Powderhorn has 26 inches of snowfall on the ground now, so definitely doing better than where we were last uh, this time last year. 11 inches currently at the Santa Fe Snow Tail site. One place where we're not really doing better across the southern portion of the state, where the Sacramento is not looking at any snowpack yet this so far this season, had about an inch this time last year. But all in all, things have improved at least for the northern portion of the state, and hopefully we can get a couple of these storms to dive down far enough to the south that we'll get a little bit more snowfall even for the southern portions of the state. Red River ski area, proof of concept right here as we have quite a bit of snowfall on the ground here and a lot of the ski resorts now looking at a Thanksgiving opening date. So certainly some good news as we look at the northern portion of the state in Angel Fire. Same story here, lots of snowfall on the grounds. We look down toward the Moreno Valley. So all in all, we are looking at a very nice start to this winter season as far as the storms go, and we are going to be looking at a few more storms, but we are getting a little bit of a break through the rest of this work week, and it is off to a cool start for your Wednesday as we saw some very cool temperatures this morning. Clear skies right now won't help us warm up much this afternoon. We're only at 45 degrees currently in the Albuquerque metro area. West wind at 7 miles per hour. Temperatures still in the 30s across portions of the north. 37 in Taos, 38 in Alamosa, 39 in Durango. Down to the south a little bit warmer, but still very chilly compared to where we have been. We're at 53 in Roswell, 57 in Alamogordo, and 55 currently in Silver City. Lots of clear skies right now. Looks like a little bit of cloud cover over the northern mountains, but as you just saw with the webcams, we don't have any cloud cover there. What the visible satellite is actually picking up is some of that snowfall that is on the ground. So we will have clear skies throughout this afternoon as a ridge of high pressure starts to build in, and that's going to help warm things up over the next couple of days as well. Cool air continues to filter in for today, but as that ridge starts to settle in, we'll go to more of a westerly flow, and that's going to help warm up our temperatures. We'll continue to see the sunshine as well. A storm system up to our north and west will pass us to the north, and that will make things a little bit breezy to sometimes windy during the day on Friday, but those winds come back down as we move into the upcoming weekend. Southern Colorado temperatures into the 40s for this afternoon, and we'll be looking at sunshine through at least the rest of the work week, perhaps a few more showers toward the beginning of next week as we watch for our next storm. Over the northwest, cold start this morning, but we are going to warm up at least a little bit throughout the afternoon into the upper 40s and low 50s. We're back into the low 60s by the end of the week and into the weekend. Over the southwest, lots of sunshine for this afternoon. Temperatures on the cool side in the 50s and 60s. We warm Silver City back up into the mid to upper 60s by the weekend and even approaching 70 by early next week. Over the southeast, lots of sunshine for this afternoon. Highs into the 50s and 60s. We're back to the low 70s by the upcoming weekend, mid 70s by early next week. So a nice warm up on the way. Over the northeast, lots of sunshine here and it will be at least cool this afternoon. Another cold night on the way tonight with lows back into the 20s and 30s. We continue to warm up those temperatures a little bit toward the end of the week and into the weekend. Over the northern mountains, another cold night tonight with temperatures in the teens and 20s. We'll warm up back to the 50s for the upcoming weekend. Over the east mountains, cold start this morning, but we are warming up a little bit into the low 50s for this afternoon. The metro into the mid 50s, and we'll continue to look at the sunshine through the end of the week, watching for a little bit of wind on Friday, but those winds come down for the weekend, and right now, weekend looking nice with temperatures in the mid 60s. Okay. Thank you, John.